So for this video, I picked out an eight mark exam question on what typically what you'd expect on an implicit differentiation question, actually. So let's go about how we go about doing the process. Step number one, I want you to differentiate each individual term. So let's do that. Differentiating the first term, which is x squared, that'll just differentiate easily to 2x. By the way, we are differentiating with respect to x and we're differentiating yeah, each individual term, like I said. Let's now focus on differentiating the second term, which is the hardest one in my opinion, the differential of 4xy. Now, what do we have here? We have two functions multiplied together, 4x multiplied by y. And that's why I've written out the product rule, which we're actually going to use here. But before we do, I just want to give you guys a little um, hint. When you differentiate um, a variable that's not in terms of x, but with respect to x, for example, like 5y cubed, how you do that is you differentiate as you would normally. So 5 times 3 is 15, and then y, and then you subtract 1 from the power. But then you multiply onto it dy dx. And that's how you differentiate a term that's not with respect to x but still with respect to x, if that makes sense. So let's apply that process here. The two functions being multiplied together are u and, so let's call u this function here, 4x, and then multiplied by v, which is in this case y. So in this instance, we need to find du dx and dv dx before we can do the rest of the question. du dx is what you get when you differentiate 4x, which is just 4, and dv dx is what you get when you differentiate y. Now you have to be careful, again, this differentiates to 1, but then because it's um, y that we're differentiating, we have to multiply onto it dy dx. Now that we've done that, we can put it into the right-hand side of this expression to get what 4xy actually differentiates to with respect to x. In this case, it's u dv dx, which is 4x times dy dx, um, and then plus v du dx, which is y times 4, plus 4y. I'm going to highlight all the differentiated um, expressions that we form. Um, let's highlight it in green. So we have 2x here and we have this here. Moving on now, um, let's say we want to differentiate this third term, minus x. So the differential of minus x is simply just minus 1, honestly. Nothing more difficult than that. Um, differential of y squared with respect to x. Again, we have to differentiate like we would normally differentiate, so it becomes 2y, but then we multiply onto it dy dx. And lastly, the differential of 35 is just 0, because whenever you differentiate a constant, it's just equal to 0. What we now do is we combine all of the expressions that we found um, differentiated. So let's do that. So we have um, the differential of x squared is 2x. The differential of 4xy is all of this. So let's add all of this on. Plus 4x dy dx, and then plus 4y. Moving on to the next term, the differential of minus x. Well, we found that was minus 1. And differential of y squared is, well, plus 2y dy dx, and then equals, and then the differential of the term on the right-hand side, which is just 0. Where you go from here, how you find dy dx is, you keep all the terms with dy dx on one side, and you move every term that doesn't have dy dx on the other side. So we're going to add 1 to both sides, we're going to subtract 2x from both sides, and we're going to subtract 4y from both sides. And that will be the right-hand side of the equation, and it will be and leave the le left-hand side, sorry, such that there's only two dy dx terms there now. 4x dy dx and then plus 2y dy dx. Maybe you guys are figuring out how to get dy dx from here, but yeah, you factor it out from both terms on the left-hand side. So it becomes 4x plus 2y, and it equals 1 minus 2x minus 4y. From here, you divide both sides by 4x plus 2y, and you get that dy dx is actually just equal to 1 minus 2x minus 4y, all over 4x plus 2y. And that's the final answer to this question. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up to the answer part because I feel like we need it for the next question. And I'm going to erase everything underneath just so you guys can see the question while I do the next part of it. Perfect. It says find an equation for the tangent to the curve at this specific point. So just a quick reminder what a tangent is. If you have a random curve, um, so it says at the point 2, 3. This might not be accurate for this specific curve, but let's say this is the point 2, 3. What a tangent is at that point is it's a line that crosses the curve and it has the same gradient of the curve at that point and it's a straight line. Because it is a straight line, that means it's in the form y equals mx plus c. Now, m, the gradient of a straight line, is given by dy dx. And we already have dy dx, don't we? But because we're looking for um, the gradient at this specific coordinate, what we can do is replace x with 2 and y with 3, and we'll get the specific dy dx at that point. So let's do that. 1 minus 2x, well, 2 times 2 is 4, and then minus 4 times y, which is 4 times 3, which is 12. 
all over 4 times x, which is 8, plus 2 times y, which is 2 times 3 here, which is 6. Um, adding all these together, 1 minus 4 is minus 3, minus 12 is minus 15, all over 8 plus 6, which is actually just 14. So that's the gradient of the tangent. Now we need to somehow find the c value. Well, now that we've found the gradient, let's put into the equation. So minus 15 over 14x, all plus c. And then to find the value of c, um, again, we replace x with 2 and y with 3. So we get 3 is equal to minus 15 times 2 is minus 30 over 14 plus c. Since we're dealing with everything in exact form, like throughout the whole question, let's um, continue with that. So when you're doing 3 plus 30 over 14, I think it's honestly best if you replace 3 with 42 over 14. The way I came up with this random fraction is, is so that the denominators on both sides match. And we know that 42 divided by 14 is just 3. If we now add 30 over 14 to both sides, this becomes 72 over 14 equals C. Which I'm sure you can factorize down because they're both even. So let's do that. So um, yeah, you can divide both top and bottom by 2 to get 36 over 7. And you can't really factorize that further. And so your final equation of the tangent is y equals minus 15 over 14x. I'm going to be a little bit lazy. Let's cancel the C out. And write plus... 36 over 7. That's your final answer here. Hopefully that made sense to you guys. Um, quite, again, quite a difficult question, but um, it's also typical of what you'd expect in an exam. Thanks for watching and yeah, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped. If you have any tutoring inquiries, be sure to visit my website www.excelleneducation.co.uk. It's on the first link in the description too.